Do not let nobody swindle you. If the car is meant for you, it will be there the next time you come, okay? What's up you guys, it's your girl with K and I'm back with another video. If you haven't already, go ahead, like, comment, share, subscribe to this video, give this video a thumbs up, which I already said, but give it another thumbs up. Hit that post notification bell down below so you're notified whenever I post. And as you can see from the title down below, wait, follow me on all my socials. Follow me on all my socials, y'all. It's Tati K Instagram, TikTok, uh, Facebook, it's Tati K. Um, yeah, um, uh, follow me on my socials and y'all, 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 y'all. As you see from the title down below, this is a story time about me literally getting scammed out of a whole car. Let me tell you about it so you know how to get scammed too. Okay, let's get into it. Alright, so this happened when I was in my second year of college I was in my second year of college or at least almost in my second year of college and y'all I wanted a car and my parents thought it was a good idea too to get me a car because I would be driving my dad's car to school or I would get dropped off and mind you this is in college and I'm just like I mean I don't want to have my own car now don't get me wrong not everybody at my especially at my hood college had a car like you see people taking the Marta to get back and forth to wherever they need to go. But I wanted a car. I wanted a car. And I clearly couldn't take Marta. Be well, mm, I couldn't take Marta because like, I, I did not live in the area. It was too far. And like I said, this is my hood college. And it was just a lot went on at the school. I just wanted a car so I could go to class, do my work, and go home. That's all I was trying to do. And go to work at both my jobs. Yeah, I had a lot going on. So, like I said, this is my second year in college. Me and my mom, we had been talking about getting me a car, getting me a car, and my dad was on the road at the time, so he was kind of, he, 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 he didn't know about the car situation, right? So I'm just like, you know, I want to get a car, and my mom's like, yeah, I think that's a good idea. Let's look up some dealerships to see if we can find you a good used car. Because granted, it was my first car, so my mom felt like I didn't need to get a new car for the simple fact that, you know first car is kind of like your knock around car you don't know what's gonna happen you might wreck I mean I know it's 2024 and people are getting their kids they first Bentley Mercedes Jag Tesla but I wasn't born rich <laughs> okay so I'm just keep I'm just being honest I wasn't born rich and and we had to do what we could afford you know what I'm saying and on top of that I'm the one buying the car so I gotta do what I can afford, right? I'm in college, y'all. I'm in college. So me and my mom, we've been looking up dealerships, trying to figure out where we could go. You know, we're going different places, checking out cars. Nothing's really checking off the list of what I wanted, which at that time wasn't much. But I did want a car with leather seats, good stereo, and AC, and it ran well. I just want four things: I want a good running car, I want cool AC, I want a good stereo, and I want leather seats. Because leather seats to me just make a car feel clean. It just, it gives it that nice pristine look to me. I just, that's what I like. I'm so sorry about it. That's just what I like. So I have been looking for a car for a couple weeks at this point. And now, the, the video may be up now. I'm not sure because I am pre-recording this video, so... Um, my best friend, Angelica, Jika, Lika, whatever you want to call her. Y'all know my best friend. Y'all done seen her in a couple of my videos. And one recent, it's either going to be posted before this one is uploaded or after. But y'all going to see her, okay? Okay, that's my best friend. That's my bestie. The resty. That's my bestie, okay? So, I mean, you know, the rest of y'all cool too. But that's my bestie, okay? That's my bestie, alright? So, she had got a car and you know she's had a car for a little minute now so the car she had was a mitsubishi 
Now, I'm not, at that time, I wasn't too fond of, like, what was a good car, what was a bad car. I just want, I just knew, like, Toyota, Honda, um, Nissan were pretty reliable cars, especially Toyota, Toyota and Honda, like, reliable, gives reliability, like, they last, like, my parents, just about all their cars were Toyotas, and they, I tell you, they ran them till the wheels fell off, okay, them cars were reliable, but they didn't have leather seats, but, um, wait, one of them did, it was kind of leather cloth, eh, eh, if I could find an image of like a car that has kind of like leather and cloth seats, I'm gonna put that image here. If I can't, then y'all not gonna see it. But that's how one of their cars was, and I was like, mm, it's in the middle. But I wanted all of the seats. And my best friend, she went came to church one weekend. I seen her car. It was fairly new. I was like, oh snap! It had pretty. I think it had like 94,000 miles, which is fairly low mileage for a used car. A used car. And like, I'm checking out her car. I'm like, oh, you got a sunroof. Oh, you got the leather seats. Oh, the AC is blasting. Because I seen her car in the summertime. That's what she got. It was cool. The radio was loud. I was like, this is what I want. Oh, and when she drove it, it was so smooth. Yeah, I fell in love with her car. So I was like, you know, bestie. She was like, yeah. I was like, where did you get your car? And she was like, girl, I got it at this dealership up in, y'all, I live in Georgia. She was like, I got it at this dealership in the cab. So I'm like, oh, okay. Well, I know where that is. It's not too, too far from where I stay. So I want to go check it out. What's the name? What's the address? What's the number? I was like, I'm going to give it to my mom. My mom seen the car. She was like, oh, it's a pretty decent car. You know, you know what? Do they have other cars there? She was like, yeah, they had a broad selection. They had a lot of cars there. Like, my best friend, she, I thought she was a representative for them. I thought she was a representative. I was convinced she worked for them. Because she was really team them, team them. She was like, oh, yeah, they have some good cars, da, da, da. I was like, oh, okay, let me go check it out. I want to go see if, like, what cars they got, you know. I, I want, I'm desperate for a car. Like, I'm not desperate for a car, but I did, I really did want my own vehicle. I really did. So... We get to talk and we get to exchange information. Um, my mom was like, all right, Tati, you know, one of these days when um, you're not in school or you leave class, we can go right up there. Now, I'm not sure whether I didn't have class on one of these days <clears throat> or I just got out of school. But my mom was like, you want to go up to the dealership that your best friend told you about and go check out some cars? And I was like, yeah, let's go. So we get in the car, we drive, we get there, pull it to the dealership. The dealership is like a, it's like a shed. The dealership is like a shed. Maybe that should have been a first red flag. Matter of fact, I'm not even going to lie to you. If I can find an image of the dealership or the name of it, I'm going to put it here. I believe that it's under different management, but y'all check this out. We pull it to the dealership, right? I'm like, okay, we we'll see. It's like, it's like the dealership is like a shed. It's like a shed or like a, a trailer type building, right? And I'm like, okay, not gonna lie, like it's kind of falling apart. Whatever. I I ain't trying to drive the shed. I'm trying to drive one of their cars. So their cars are in this gated fence. So I'm like, okay, makes sense. So nobody can steal the cars. Whatever. Well, it keeps the car safer. I can say that. Um, not gonna lie, the area was a little. Scary. That should have been the second red flag. So, you know, we're looking around a lot, looking around a lot. And, you know, we're walking into the building just as raggedy as it is on the outside. It's just as raggedy as on the inside. Now, everybody in this building, nobody speaks perfect English. Red flag number three. I'm sorry. Nobody speaks perfect English. These people were either... I thought they were Jamaican at the time. But my best friend says they were African. I was like... Had I known that, that would have been red flag number five. I'm not trying to be funny, but there are a lot of African scammers in Georgia. I ain't gonna hold you. I mean, it's a lot of scammers, period. And I'm not judging nobody. Well, mm -hmm. yeah, I am judging you if you're a scammer, because that's just wrong. That is totally wrong. Like, come on. But either way, everyone's kind of speaking like rough, broken English, but like, we're able to communicate nonetheless. 
So one of the guys come out, you know, he's showing us around a lot. We're looking at different cars. I'm like, ooh, this car is nice, this car is nice, this car is nice, that car is raggedy, that car is a limit that's busted up. And I don't even know nothing about cars, but some of them cars, I was just like, I don't even know how I made the cut. Why did you guys even get this car? But there was this one car, I cannot for the life of me remember what kind of car it I can't remember what kind of car it was. I cannot. I cannot. But it was like a bluish silver car. It was a sedan, had leather seats. I'm not gonna lie, it was kinda like a kinda like a big body car. You know what I'm saying? But I'm like, you know, it's gonna give me the point A, point B. Everybody's gonna give me a point A, point B. You know, it got the leather seats, AC was cool, stereo was hitting, Corvette, Corvette. I mean, I wish it was a Corvette, but you know what I'm saying? That's the song that was playing at the time. And so the stereo was banging. I was like, okay, it's driving smooth. I'm like, oh, good. I'm so. And the car was like, what was it? Like 5000 I think the car was like $5,000. Mind you, I'm in school. And I'm thinking, I just found the car of my dreams. I'm telling my best friend, I'm like, Bessie, thanks for giving me the information. I done came to this dealership. They have this amazing car. I'm in love. It's cool. It's na 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 na. My mom was like, well, hold up. She was like, yeah, Joe's smooth and everything, but I want to bring a male here. Your dad's at work and he's going to be gone for a while. But I want to bring a male here to make sure, you know, everything is right and the car is checked out what it everything is checked out right the car is what it's supposed to be so she calls up one of her friends and like you know they arranged to meet up again another time up there to check out the car I'm like okay cool the guy's telling us well I'm not gonna hold you but the car may not be here next time you're saying like we got good deals we got good cars do not let nobody swindle you if the car is meant for you, it will be there the next time you come, okay? Do not let nobody make you feel rushed when you're getting a car, okay? Do not. Take your time. Check out the car and get what you want, okay? Do not let nobody make you feel rushed. And because he was like telling me, my mom, that you know the car may not be here. It's a pretty good car. It's one of my best cars on the lot. Hasn't sold yet, so you're in luck. And he's, sell he's selling me a drink. And I'm eating it up. I'm eating. He's selling me a good dream. I'm like, oh man, this car is amazing. Like, I, think I gotta get this car now. I gotta get this car today. I should've got this car yesterday. Like, I should've got the car when they got it off the auction. I need to get this car. Like, that's what I'm believing, okay? Yeah. So I told him, I said, all right, well, I got some cash on me. I said, um, can I put some money down for you all to hold it? They were like, sure. Um, we could, we could hold the car for 200 dollars. I was like, okay. I was like, yeah, yeah, okay, well, could, could you hold the car for $200? They're so like, yeah, we'll hold the car for $200. I'm like, all right, cool, cool, cool. They're like, when you guys come back, say we went on a Monday, we like, oh, well, we'll be back on Wednesday where my mom's friend could come and check out the car with us. They're like, okay, cool, no problem. Tuesday pass, Wednesday comes. My mom and her friend, they call each other, like, all right, let's head to the um, dealership to check out the car. We get to the dealership. The car is there. The car is there. We go get the guy, we're like, hey, we're back for the car, we want to check it out. You know, we brought a guy here, he's a mechanic actually, he does body work too, and he's going to, you know, check out the car with us. Why did they look at us like we were speaking a foreign language? They looked at us like, they didn't know what, what? They looked at us like, check it out. Oh. Like they weren't ready to hear that. So I'm like, okay. So I take my mom's friend to the car. I'm like, yeah, this is the car. This is the car of my dreams. I'm in love with the car. You know, they're still trying to like talk talk the car up. Like, yeah, yeah, it's a good car. It's a good car, man. Man, you ain't gotta check this car. Let's car. These cars get pre-checked before they even hit our lot. And I'm just like, you acting a little nervous, but like, chill out. Like, you're, we already know it's a good car. We just checking out the car. I'm thinking, but like, yeah, I'm telling the guy, my mom's friend, I'm like, yeah, this car, I really like this car. I like this car. He's like, well, you know, pop the hood. I'm gonna check it under the hood. He's checking under the hood. He's like, did y'all look under the hood? But before, like, just now or like before? He's like, y'all didn't put no money down on this car, did you? I'm like, well, I, I put two hundred down. Hold it. What's what's wrong with the car? I'm thinking like maybe a gasket. Oh, I didn't know what was going on there. I don't know. Something. What, 
what happened? Like when they like oil change or something? Like, he's like, the car is leaking oil. I'm like, oh. Now you know if you've had a car before that has had some problems. Leaking oil can be an issue. Or like it, from in my case, any type of leaking in the car can be an issue. So he's like, um, start the engine, right? Start the engine. The car at like it's having I don't know. The oil just starts flowing from the car under the hood. I'm like, what? So yeah, my mom's friend, he's like, Yeah, the car is nice, but this could be an issue right here. He's like, um, Y'all didn't pet, put nothing down on it. Did y'all? I was like, yeah, I did. He was like, well, try to see if you can get your money back since they only held it for like a day. Like, just see if you get your money back. They can still sell the car. We go back to them. No. Long story short, no. We're going back and forth. My mom's friend's like, man, it's just been a day. Try to give her back her money. We're just going back and forth. We're going back and forth for about 30 minutes. They're like, no, nah, we can't do that. Like, you know, the, and I'm like, on the receipt. They're talking about on the receipt. It means like no refunds, no reimbursements. I'm like, hold on. I held the car. I didn't buy the car. I'm looking at the receipt. Mind you, I could put the. I, I want to. I still got the re image of the receipt. I still got the images. I do. Nowhere on this receipt, I'm going to put it here, does it say that I cannot get a refund? You talking about it's on a paper, but where, honey? Where? The, and I'm showing them the paper. I'm like, because they gave me a receipt when I put the 200 down. I'm showing them the paper. I'm like, no on this paper doesn't say I can't get a refund. I get my money back. Blah, blah, blah. Like, there's no, y'all don't have no type of policy on nothing. And they're just like, well, we're just not going to give it back. My mom's like, you know what? Don't worry about it. We'll just call you that. We gotta up the crazy. We're just gonna up the crazy. So I'm like, okay, whatever. I'm like, I'll be back. I'll be back. I'll be back. I'll be back. So, y'all, I'm calling my dad. I'm telling him what's happening. I'm like, yeah, my mom's friend came and checked out the car. He told me it's an oil leak, and they told me I can't get my money back. And all I did was hold the car for a day. And blah, blah, blah. My dad's like, okay, I'll be there tomorrow. We can go up there tomorrow. I'm like, okay. Cause I'm like, really? You and my, you know, my mom was trying to make a feel about you're, you're gonna take money from a college student, trying to find her first car, and da da da. My mom's not a confrontational person. She does not like conflicts. Me, if I see a flame, I, I'll throw it, more fire on it. I'll fan it, and that's not good. I'm trying to be a better person. I'm like, I'm like, really, I'm growing as a person, and I can admit that. That is my testimony that I'm growing as an individual, and. I'm getting better with de-escalating situations because who I am, I'm the type of person to fan the flame to a fire and make that big grow. <laughs> so I'm getting better. I'm getting better. But in this moment, I was not there. So, all right. I'm like, okay. You know, my mom's trying to make me feel bad and it's not working. Okay, cool, 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 cool. They're like, you know, you guys just can't get your money back. All right, cool. So we leave. My mom's telling my dad what happened. I'm telling my dad what happened. My dad's like, okay, cool. And if you all wonder where I got my temper from, it's from my dad. <laughs> so my dad, he gets back in town. He's from work. He's like, so, you know, asking us what happened. We're like, you know, I put 200 down, hold the car. He was like, one, you should have never did that. Okay. Do not ever put, basically, in a, in a nutshell, he told me, do not spend or give away what you can't afford to lose. And that's something I've carried with me. Because I've heard that more than once in my lifetime. Do not give away something you cannot afford to lose. Or do not buy something you can't afford twice. Okay? Powerful words, okay? <laughs> so, that was a little... That was a little, that was a little lesson for you all, and that was a lesson for me. So, me and my dad, we drive back up. You know, he's heated, he's mad. Um, he's like, you know what? I'm gonna just be cool. I'm gonna ask for the money back. If not, we're gonna escalate the situation. Cool. So, I know how my dad can be. I really do. So, we go back up to the dealership, and my dad's like, who's the manager? Who's in charge? 
like there's some little guys like just working there trying to come. He's like, no, nah, I don't want to talk to none of y'all. Give me y'all manager. Give me, give me who's at the top of the food chain. That's who I'm trying to talk to. Like we're the type of people we're like. I don't want to speak to no associate, no supervisor. Give me the manager. Matter of fact, give me the store manager. I'm that type of person too now. I'm like, I will. I want to go over you. Okay. I want to hear what the little people got to say. I want to hear what the top dog got to say. Okay. So my dad's like, I want to speak to the manager. You know, they get the manager for him. He's talking to him. He's like, well, you know, she put 200 down. We don't do no refunds. Blah, blah, blah. And my dad's like, where on this paper does it say that? You know, he's getting aggressive. He's getting a little upset. And they're just going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And the guy's saying, like, no, we're just not going to give her her money back, essentially. And my dad's like, give her half. Give her something. Because, like, she didn't even get the car. You only hold it for 24 hours. Give the girl back her money. Like, that's fucked up. Like, it really is. It really is. Okay? They're just like, no, we can't do that. Can't do that. Da, 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 da. He's like, all right. Bet. Now, it, my dad's a wild card, so I don't know what that meant. I was like, uh. So he walks out the little shed, piece of crap thing, right? So I'm following him. He's like, I got so many thoughts going through my head. I'm like, mm. He's like, you know what? We'll, we'll call the police. I was like, okay. So that was a new one. That, that was a wild card for me. I was like, call the police. Let me start calling the police. So, so he called the police. And, you know, the police come out there. They're like, what's the issue? And basically, he's telling them, I got scammed, essentially. And that they're telling me that I can't get a refund on a hold. It was not a purchase, but, like, literally, kind of like a layaway. Like, I can't get my refund. And I never even fully purchased the car. And on the receipt, there's no nothing that says I can't get a refund. I show them the paperwork and everything. Just per usual because I've had another similar situation like this happen, which is mm. either way, they're just like, you know, this is a civil dispute. And that there's nothing they can do. So basically what they told us was, you know, it's up for y'all to discuss. Now here's my thing with situations like that. You never say it's left up for us to discuss. It's a civil dispute. You can't get involved. Which to this day I don't know how true that is because that sounds like some BS. Because if a civil dispute is between two people and they're disputing, don't you think a dispute can escalate? Then you're going to have to come back out here. Now you're making a rush because somebody done did this, that, and the third. Like, I just think they didn't want to do their job. I really didn't. Like, if y'all know any information on that, is that a civil dispute? Like, can they do anything about that? Because, hmm. either way, I didn't get my buddy back. <laughs> okay? My dad was mad. He was like, don't come back to this place. Don't take no more recommendations. Go to a certified dealership, which I ended up doing. And I actually ended up finally finding a car at, shout out to Grand Motors Vehicles. Even though I no longer have that car, but that's another story we're going to get into at some point soon. But that that was like my cute first little car that I got. Um, but yeah, ultimately I didn't get my money back. <laughs> okay. Two hundred dollars down, city girls down two hundred. I was like, all right, cool, it's all right. But um, yeah, I hope you all paid attention to all my red flags that was in this video. I hope that you don't get scammed out of car because I know some of us or some of y'all are going to college, graduating college, maybe graduating high school. You want a car? Take your time. And if you're shopping on Facebook, which I did at one point, be careful. Bring a male with you or a female. Somebody that knows cars okay make sure they check out everything okay so you don't get scammed so i would hate for any of y'all to get scammed out here because 200 200 was a lot for me especially in college 200 was a lot of money so yeah make sure y'all be careful out here especially if you live in georgia or atlanta be careful all right because you like uh, damn near a home for scammers not even gonna lie. But anyways, you guys, that's all I have for you all today. If you haven't already, go ahead, like, comment, share, subscribe to this video. Hit that post notifications button down below so you're notified whenever I post. I said subscribe, but follow me on all my socials, y'all. And I can't wait to see y'all all. In, oh, 
I'm gonna get tongue tied. I can't wait to see you all in my next video. I love you guys. Bye.